what is up guys it's me boy kwis i know the videos have been there hasn't been many recently i just got back from only the best top eight i'll talk about that whatever it doesn't matter because it's here well it's not here but it's here it, it i i don't know what to say i know you guys don't know what to say you know exactly what i'm talking about i'm gonna show you guys exactly what i'm talking about you can't see it right now that was that was such a give me a second a boom guys tekken 8 an official a proper trailer i told you guys all tekken 8 and not a remake or some shit but you didn't want to listen to me but anyway guys tekken 8 uh we have something i've watched this like five times already full disclosure i want to go through this again um and watch it again but before i do i need to lay something out for me from harada himself so we'll read through all of this in a moment but just for some context for you guys before you watch this i didn't have this context before i watched it so i just went in like what the hell is this um but like, i'll read all of this in a second to get the full information of what this is but essentially this is from story mode what we're going to see the gameplay is from story mode it is gameplay um i believe it said it wasn't pre-rendered but i'll read through it again later so we can find out but yeah let's just watch it again this is like my 10th time watching this and yeah i mean guys like i didn't expect this real-time rendered footage captured from the and development final game contest which is subject to change it's also on ps5 they're showing this right now Oh. I'll probably get this on PS5 and PC as well, you know. Wait, is this is this max quality? Hold on. Guys, I couldn't believe they showed actual gameplay. Like some things like I'm going to stop it and start it a few times though, don't worry. Um a few things like weird to me like for example like the pushback on something like 443 like what does that mean? Like what does it mean? I don't know. What does it mean? You know, that was a lot of pushback. See that? That was a lot of pushback as well. Back to one. The electric, is that a new mechanic? The back dash? Or is this all just cinematics? Because it's, this is from story mode, remember? That's Jin 3 plus 4. It's power crush. Like, you know, what? what is just, what is gameplay? What is mechanic? I don't know. I can only speculate, but it looks crazy. And then... Down for two trade, but perfect electric. I can basically say most of that is like stuff only for story mode. It's not going to do that kind of zoom in every time you're playing the game and you do a combo. But um, it looks so good. Honestly, the stage, the models. This is what I assume is Jin's Rage Art. The Sephiroth one winged angel. Wow, what what more can I say? What more can I say? I was so blind. So I was at, I was actually playing a game of Valorant, and I was in a call with Gosain, and he just started screaming, like literally screaming. I was like, "What the hell is going on?" He's like, "Look at this now." I'm literally in the middle of my game, and then he shows me that this was happening, and yeah, I I was just it looked so good. Like the fact that let's go back to this. This is what the gameplay looks like for now anyway like it's in development things could get better they could get worse watchdogs i doubt it but um yeah and, and also look at the splits on kazuya there that's kind of crazy um like you know i'm imagining stuff like that i don't think like i imagine stuff like this big like slow-mo pushback like that kind of fallback thing is only going to be for the story mode i don't imagine that happening like in game every time kazuya hits an up forward three and shit um but it just look it looks good visually i think it looks good i have to see how it plays that will give it time but i i'm happy i think i don't know whether i'm easily impressed or just because we haven't seen anything or i'm just happy to finally get tekken 8 out there um i think this is great um now let's read through this as well so we know exactly what it is that we are looking at so harada has a little post here talking about the game trailer the footage so he says Footage rendered in real time and captured from the game running on PS5. Uh, we kept doing for a long time. We find Able to announce the Tekken is in production. The trailer. Uh, so the trailer was taken directly from a certain part in the current work in progress Tekken 8 story mode played on PlayStation 5. First off, I think this is this is a great look for the story mode. I think we're getting like cinematic, um, exciting, you know, moments like that. I hope the story mode is better in, in this game than Tekken 7. It'd be hard to be worse. But I hope it's a lot better. All the character models, backgrounds, and effects are the same ones that are used in-game. So stuff like that stage, we might be getting the stage that looks like that. 
during the game, which will be kind of crazy. Um, it is not a pre-rendered movie made from the trailer, made for the trailer, but rather real-time rendered footage run at 60 frames per second, similar to how you would experience the game in versus battle modes. Of course, some of the effects, the dialogue, as well as the camera angle is currently being updated and may change when the game launches. In the trailer, you can see the level of quality of newly created playable character models are completely set itself apart from the current Tekken 7. And in little details like how the water droplets run down the character's skin. This is not footage created solely for trailer purposes, but an actual real-time rendering of what's happening on the game screen. So this is exciting to me because I feel like they're putting a lot of emphasis on the fact that this is not just some trailer that we put out for PR purposes. This is the real, real deal of what the game is going to look like in story mode we don't know what the rest looks like but this is what the game actually looks like you can see dynamic waves and tornadoes a huge tank of gradually breaking apart storm rendering so realistic that you can feel the wind pressure the density of the rain these are all battle stage effects to be used in this title we're of course working hard to enhance the quality even further in the latest version of the work in progress build the quality is dynamically improving each day with the giant tanker moving closer to the shore in the background and large flames spare up each near where the character is standing we hope you look forward to seeing them in game this new entry will focus on the father and son showdown between kazuya mishima and jin kazama as for the meaning of the scene in the trailer and how significant it is to the main story we look forward to you finding out when the game releases however the game is still in development so i'm afraid we will still have to ask you to wait a little longer um and yeah you know tekken 8 we finally have confirmation a trailer it looks good it does look good visually anyway we don't know how it plays yet it'd be awful could be some crazy balance changes we don't know but for now i think they've done a good job at reinventing the wheel i think anyway like this looks completely different to any other tekken game but you know it's tekken um obviously i'll have a few questions moving forward you know for example like i mean it does look like it does look kind of like 2d or 2.5d we didn't see any sidestepping in this but like we can't take too much away from this as like the final product you know also the song sounds cool as well i uh, hopefully this is an in-game song we don't get more like uh dubstep wub wub and we get more of this moving forward that would be great for tekken 8 i think um yeah just have to say love how it looks so far i think for story mode this is amazing um i'm assuming they'll showcase more mechanics and stuff later like you know, for example, like you get the down forward two. Perfect electric. Looks cool. We know Tailspin is back as well because that was a Tailspin combo. Um, Yeah, I'm definitely excited to see what the future holds with Tekken 8. I'll obviously be keeping a close eye on it. If you guys want to help me keep a close eye on it, make sure you guys subscribe and like this video and comment down below so we don't miss anything moving forward. Let me get, know what you guys think about this. Any questions you might have? about moving forward like i know i have questions we'll have to wait a while to get answers i'm surprised we got something this early like people are saying earliest we're gonna hear something like the game awards in like december um and this is like literally it's been like a month since evo since the teaser and we have this so i feel like this is they're moving quite fast so i'm excited to see when we get something new but i'm happy for this right now please like comment subscribe if you enjoy the video and i'll catch you guys in the next one.